Hey guys, this is Miles from Swiss Crypto Podcast and in this video I'm gonna talk about the banks of China getting into blockchain and crypto. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Before we start, the quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and whatever I say should not be taken as any legal tax or financial advice. Please always do your own research before you invest into anything. As spoken about in a previous video I made about the crypto ban in China, if you're interested in that, check it out in the upper right corner. Uh, China is quite skeptic when it comes to crypto and takes a more or less negative stance towards digital currencies. But in the last 12 months, we've heard several rumors about China and especially Chinese banks getting into blockchain and getting into cryptocurrency. And what is really interesting is that in October 2018, the WEF, the World Economic Forum, posted an article on their internet page asking if China could launch its own cryptocurrency in the next few years. And that thought is not far away from reality, actually. The People's Bank of China, the biggest bank in China, is actually making plans on digitalizing China's currency the RMB, to get independent from the US dollar. And they are also recruiting digital currency specialists for that. So there's a very big sign that China, even though they have kind of a cryptocurrency ban, is getting into cryptocurrency and blockchain. So how come that Chinese banks turn to blockchain and crypto? And why would they want to get in? Well, China is actually already the most cashless economy in the world, thanks to mobile payment apps WeChat and Alipay. Uh, they handle about 15.7 trillion, with a T, dollar in mobile payments per year. Only those two, WeChat and Alipay. So it seems quite logical for banks to adopt the blockchain technology as well, as Alipay is doing right now, and I'm pretty sure WeChat is doing it as well. So I've already mentioned the People's Bank of China, uh, which is rumored to get into digitalizing the Chinese currency. But what I want to focus in this video is the ICB, the Industrial Commercial Bank of China. Um, not a lot of articles talk about the ICB and that's exactly why I want to shed a light on this specific bank. And to give you a quick overview, the ICB ranks first place on Forbes Global 2000 lists of the world's biggest public companies and has a turnover of $171 billion yearly. They have a market capitalization of about 230 billion billion dollars and 530 million personal customers that they offer their services to. So they already have a lot, a lot of money behind them and also a lot of customers. 500 million, half a billion customers that they have by their side that will use their technology if they want to come up with one. And last September, September 1st, 2018, uh, Bayer News reported that the ICB announced to focus on blockchain technology development. Uh, they will work on finding use cases for smart banking and also focus on innovations in cloud computing, blockchain and the Internet of Things. And the ICB also filed a patent application with China State Intellectual Property Office that concerns a blockchain system to improve efficiency of certificate issuance. So that way they want to improve the customer experience with the bank on the one side and also improve the efficiency inside the bank's network, of course. And for me, this is a very big sign that we are heading in the right direction with blockchain and with cryptocurrency. And I know that the ICB didn't announce that they will use cryptocurrency, but they will use the blockchain technology. And from blockchain technology, 
it's not a far way to cryptocurrency. And I've already talked about that topic that China will most probably introduce a cryptocurrency in the future or kind of something like that, especially because they also want to control their citizens and know what they are doing. And for that, blockchain could sadly be a perfect tool. But for a country that big, with that much citizens and that much money, the thought is not far away that they will probably turn to cryptocurrency in the future. And if the ICB now lays the foundation with blockchain, introduces blockchain to their system, to their 530 million personal customers, then it will be only a small step to go to a cryptocurrency that they will launch probably together with the People's Bank of China or another big bank that belongs to the state. And of course, this is only speculation from my side, but I want you guys to see the signs that all the companies give to us like a patent that the ICB filed with the Chinese State Intellectual Property Office and also the People's Bank of China making plans on digitalizing China's currency. I mean, those are all signs and I'm pretty sure there's a lot to come in the future, especially from China, even though China seems to be quite skeptic at the moment. So I know this video was a bit shorter than usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next one.